Right now, 530 human trafficking arrests. A man now behind bars facing charges for allegedly trafficking a disabled woman. And Local 10's Leanne Morhone is joining us live. She's in Miami with details on this one. Leanne. Yeah, this is a case that really shocks the senses. This victim allegedly has cognitive and physical disabilities. Now the person that's accused of exploiting her for money is behind bars. 27-year-old Justin Elias Portis faces multiple felony counts, including human trafficking, accused of making a disabled woman have sex for money. It's just doubly heartbreaking to know that you would take advantage either of a child or someone who has cognitive and physical disabilities to try to sell and exploit them, to exploit their bodies, is just inhumane. The arrest was part of a joint effort by the Miami Police Department and the state attorney's office's Human Trafficking Task Force as part of an anti-trafficking operation activated before large events like the Super Bowl and upcoming Formula One race. They did the first operation yesterday and that operation involved going online onto a platform where they actually sell people. They sell sex. In this case, documents say undercover detectives found the victim through an online ad and arranged to pay her $140 in exchange for sex. What detectives say they discovered when arriving at a hotel room to meet the victim is that she was both physically and cognitively disabled. The victim told police she was transported to the hotel by Portis for the purpose of having sex for money and that she would also have to give him whatever money she earned. You know, it's just a horrible sense of you know, really being a slave, you're really owned by this person and you got to go out and earn money and give the money over to somebody else. Portis was arrested and made a statement to police, which was redacted from the report. He is being held without bond. And we're also told that he had an open case in Broward County that included DUI and drug possession. He was on an ankle monitor for that and we're told he was wearing it when he was arrested on this case. We're live in Miami. I'm Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.